he know he couldn't he he couldn't do the the, the like he was doing the Nipsey to me. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Danton, man. Loose Cannon. He been going viral. That was Big U's main man to get certain jobs done. Why did they fall out? We're going to find out some details. And did he know whack from way back? And we're going to start off with the Damu Kiwe calling Big U Cointel Pro. They wasn't always on the same side. Let's get to it. So today, we got Big U, the house nigga, J. Edgar Hoover, Cointel Pro. <laughs> Listen, he's trying to figure a way to back up out of this. You get what I'm saying? Big, you got him in some that is too deep, and he knows now I'm in a pickle. You get what I'm saying? Now I have to um, pick and choose sides. Pe people, y'all not even getting it, right? When Big U and Wack ran together, Big U and, and Wack knew every single thing, but Big U kept a secret from Wack. You get what I'm saying? He, like you said, the Blackberry and all the other stuff like that is coming out. The truth is coming out with every single thing. So these is looking at it as like, I just got came here with this, these backpacks. I'm passing out these wraps, whatever you want to call it. And there's really no money out in here for me. So what the fuck I'm gonna do? Let me try to back up and get the fuck away from this. And that's, that's it. We're, we're friends before the fallout. You said who? You knew Wack when when him and Big U was on good terms. Of course. Like when you were you was around when they before of the, the falling out. Of course. They was like they brothers. That. They yeah they was like brothers. It, it was Wack would go against everybody from sixties on um, for Wack, and vice versa. So, What's that? Do so you want them to mend their relationship, or you want the to continue? He nah, tried he, already. Listen, the thing is, the, the thing is, is if, if Wack wants to amend that relationship, they can. I will support it. I just can't fuck with Big U. Yeah, I don't move like you. Got to remember, once a, you, know, I, listen, I know this nigga better than his homies know him because they know an old him. I know this nigga. I know his secrets. I know his weaknesses. I know his strengths. I know everything from his physical, medical, financial. I know it all because I'm the nigga he ran to. And what I would do, being a good brother, is I would provide it and let him run it back so his people saw it coming from him. When I sat down with Luce, it was running daddy. That nigga was looking at me. He said, how the f*** you know? I said, well, where you think it come from? That don't come from him. He ain't got them resources to do the regular. He don't even know how to make money. Mm -hmm. So what's so what's Loose Cannon's issue with? Why why him and um, Big U fall out? What was oh, issue with that? So um, think about this, right? And Wack is on here. When I go and do something in the streets, right? <laughs> Wack is sending me the video. <laughs> yeah. So this is what happened. He eventually, and I told him, right? I told him day one. When Luce first come to see me, right? Again, follow me. When Luce first come to see me on Big U Instruction, right? And I sit down with Luce and I do what I'm supposed to do with Luce. And Luce go on his way. I say, Big U, you know youngster different, right? What you like to do, he ain't the one to position in that, put in that position. He definitely going to be able to execute, but that is that his own man got his own squad outside of the first thing I noticed is Loose Cannon got a team independent of Rolling 60s that's even stronger than this Rolling 60s team so once I seen that I said okay I know what type of time we are I said Big U what you like to do how you like to do it ain't gonna work with him it's gonna backfire on you that ain't a dog you can walk that's just a dog that's gonna walk on the side of you and you like to walk your dogs. I told it. And I told it. So it got to a point to where this knew he couldn't control the dog. So what he do? He start doing little to try to get rid of the dog. If the dog catches looking for the dog, Big, you would tell him over here, yeah, I heard he been up them trash cans behind Fool for Less. So with Loose Caddy come to see me and say, why all this is done in the dark is in the light and how these know when only you and him know 
I said, well, the people that know, do I know them? He said, no. Do they know me? No. Do they have my number? No. So it's only one way that they know. Now, I'm having a conversation with this man because I know what's in front of me. So right? you saying Big U backdoored loose? Big U got to a point to where he felt he couldn't right. control loose cannon. So what he would do is send loose out on certain things and then Tell put it out right. in the streets that it was loose that did certain things. Try to get him out the way. Loose, no. Only two individuals know the intricate details. It ain't nothing that ever went on that I don't know because he coming to me first. Mm. He go to jail loose, who come get him? You. He so can't loose. pay his mortgage, who comes squared? You. They looking for him, who get him out of town? You. This, this is why when, when niggas be talking this, who's who? Oh, he get the popularity vote. But when it comes down, down to what it is, oh, no, I'm not worried about none of that because I know what it is. And, and and that's the thing. Like, it just got kept getting too tricky. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> and he know he couldn't he he couldn't do the the, the like he was doing the Nipsey to me. No, nah, he can't do he, that. he couldn't get away with that. So what he did was when oh uh, a shooting was over here or whatever like that. Oh oh um, so and so uh, wacky. Did you hear what Loose Cannon did? <laughs> Did you hear that? That's what the nigga was doing. It was getting back to me. I'm talking about like five, ten minutes afterwards. Like he was setting me up to go to jail. Loose, loose, loose tried me one time. He said, "Uncle, where you at?" I said, "I'm at the spot." He said, "I need to see you right now." I said, "Okay, here you go. This is where I'm at." Loose ain't stupid. Loose know if Wack knows something up, Wack ain't gonna bring him to me because I know what I'm dealing with. He pulled up. I said, you all right? He said, hell no. I said, what's going on? He looked. First thing he noticed, he said, where your team at? I said, they in the building. You said you need to talk to me, right? Loose ain't stupid. If Wack was part of whatever the f thing I put out there, he know, for one, I ain't going to bring him to me. If I if I do bring him to me, he know the is going to be everywhere because I know what I'm dealing with, right? And he go to telling me, I said, well, hey, only two of us knew, nephew. Mm -hmm. I don't know them people you're talking about. So I don't, you know, at the end of the day, you more of an asset to me than a liability. Now, on that side of it, I, I understand it. And I warned it. I said, bro, you got to deal with him different. You can't deal with him like you deal with Lee Mac because he brought you the wrong donuts. You can't do that. Y'all know Lee Mac flossy. He wants to be crip, walk, crip walking on Instagram all the time, right? You can't deal with loose like he, you know that ain't happening for one of your squabblers. Two, you know what else he do. Three, the got a team. A team that's dangerous. Alright, y'all, there it is. Yo, definitely Cloud Chase have been lighting it up with these interviews with Loose, with Wag, about the big U situation, the Damu Kiway thing. You heard them in the beginning talking about Big U being COINTEL Pro. Then all of a sudden, they rocking with Big U. So it's a back and forth. And now y'all understand why Loose Cannon is riding so hard with Wack because of how it went down with him and Big U. So we'll keep y'all posted, man. Like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy Dance. Until next time, we out.